FIFA 22 is around the corner. So here is the best possible starter squad. Hang on, it's not that simple. Hey guys, we've got six different starter teams for you. And we're gonna give you a little bit more of an insight into it, so predict the pricing and why you should choose one of these starter teams over another. At the start of FIFA 21, this team only came in at 50,000 points. Believe it or not, this team's most expensive player is Shaws and the second most expensive player is Bellarabi. The reason why Shaws was so expensive is because he was pacey, also he could defend back who actually did bits last season, who also will get an upgrade from a silver. As there is no Wangi Chan, it's really difficult to have pace up top, but that's where Boring comes in. But as he's the only striker with somewhat decent pace, he could be around about 2-3k at the start of the game, which isn't a lot. Is he going to be usable? He had 3-star, three 3-star three in FIFA 21. This team, I think, is going to cost 70,000 quids, and if it costs more change my name uh -huh. players like Baku, Sabozlai, Lema, Bellarabi, Shules, Stark are gonna be amazing and cheap cheap cheapity cheap cheap If you've come for the fastest team, this is definitely it. At the start of FIFA 21, Balde, Simon, and Diata were all less than 2k. Believe it or not, this team was also 50,000 quins at the start of FIFA 21. And the most expensive part was actually the defense, costing around about 20k. But with League One being an even better league to build your squad in, with the likes of Messi, Ramos, Hakimi, and Nunmensch, you can expect prices to go through the roof. The biggest issue for League One has to be the left back position. Yes, there are quite a few gold cards. Yes, there are some decent pace goal cards, but none of them are good. Even Kone. And if you want the best, you're probably going to have to go for Kamara, which might be expensive. I reckon this team is going to cost 100,000 quid. But I also think that the most expensive player will be Atal because of how useful he is in every single FIFA. <laughs> yeah, boy. Although League One is all about the pace, we've got some balance in here with Atal, Golovin, Awa, and let's not forget Danea. Danea. Hey. She want to party hard. Epic fail. La Liga had the right formula. They were on the right path. The biggest players of the biggest clubs. Now they're overlooked. They're struggling. But they've got youth. This team last year at the start of the game was 65k due to Kunde and Fernandez. The biggest issue with La Liga is lack of quality in the middle of the park. So if I was to upgrade this team, I would have to go for either Valverde or Lorente, and both would be way too expensive. The solution is simple. Rather than using a midfield three, try and work with a four or two. If Kunde gets an upgrade, his card could look very similar to Diego Costa. So there's 60,000 coins in the game and the fact that he's French means that his price could go up even more. I reckon for what you get this team is going to be super expensive and be around about 100k just because of Kunde, Fernandez, Rodrigo, Guedes and Morales. Heck even Camavinga before his once to watch one. Guys I hope you enjoyed the video so far make sure to like down below and also comment if you want to see the next three teams and what you've thought of this video so far. This is going to be a two-parter. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. But before we end the video, let me show you all three teams one more time. Thank you guys for watching. Take care and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. Thank you, thank you.